Hey, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, J. Dog King Hefner and the beautiful Ice in the Moon, man. And as you can see, uh, she just stepped in for my beautiful girl, Callie, for a second. Because uh, me and Callie actually are uh, working on another little project. Hopefully, we'll get that out really soon. Uh, but right now, the beautiful Ice in the Moon has stepped in. And as you can see, I debuted this hairstyle uh, around Halloween, man. And I love it. This is the true uh, hairstyle of Nami, uh, the girl I have a crush on in the uh, anime series One Piece. And I promise you, this girl, Ice in the Moon, is wearing the hell out of this wig right now. Lord have mercy. Uh, but just to get into the subject, as you can see, the title of this show is Treat Her Like a Lady. Treat Her Like a Lady. And what do I mean by that? Uh, man, I've sort of hinted at this type of concept before as well. Uh, and the concept is basically, man, treating your doll like you would your real girlfriend. Now, I'm not saying you have to take her out on dates and things like that, like I do, or even take her outside of the house like I do. But I would ask you to do this. Just the way you treat her, even around the house, always treat her like you would your real girlfriend. The, the, the payoff that you'll get from this man is the more you do that, the more closer and closer you will become. Uh, every intimate thing that I do with the girls, even to this day, after having them all close to a year now, uh, I'm just getting closer to them, even as I do the little things that I've done day in and day out. You know, just changing their clothes and brushing their hair and uh, showing them the care that I do. Every day that I do that, I get closer to them. And um, what I mean by treat them like your girl is, listen, man, I really want you guys to be more proud of your girls. That's really what I'm getting at. Don't always be looking to store them away, putting them up under a bed or putting them in a the closet or, or something of that nature. Because just think about it. If this is your real companion, would you be wanting to put your girlfriend in a closet or under a bed? Uh, how do you think they would feel about that, man? How do you think they would feel about being put away in that manner? No, nah, man, you want to be proud of them, uh, keep them out with you, man. Uh, like you say, at the end of a night or something, if you want to put them in their little storage space just for safekeeping, okay, that's understandable. But I'm just saying on a daily basis, when you're with her, keep her out with you, man. Treat her like your girl. You know, do do like I do. Watch TV with her or do uh, what you love to do with her the most. Uh, you know, any of your hobbies. Uh, this really hit home the other day, once again, when I was going to that event with my uh, grandmother and uh, my family members. I sort of alluded to, hey, man, why shouldn't I take my girl down there? It's my life. But it was another factor that came into play. The factor was, how would Callie feel about it? You know, how would she feel about me leaving her at home? You know, and, and not sharing her with my family. You know, she wouldn't have felt good about that, man. You know, women in your life don't want to be hidden away. They, they want to be championed. You know, they, they, they want you to have your chest stuck out and saying, look, I love this woman. You know how much confidence that gives them? Uh, and I know a lot of you might be like, hey, Kelly, she's a companion dog. But yeah, man, I keep telling you guys, these good feelings and good emotions sink into your dog. She soaked up that day. She soaked up the good feelings of me taking her out. And the truth is, no, I don't take any of the girls 100% of the places that I go. Uh, and sometimes it'd be a feeling. It's, it'd be like a feeling like, hey, I don't want to get out today. I did a vibe that I'm getting from the girls. Like, they'd be like, man, look, hey, it's cold out there. Or, dude, it's been a rain. You know I don't feel like getting out. Or some days it could be a clear day. And I just get a feeling of, nah, the girls just don't want to go anywhere. So I'm not talking about those days. But that was a day that I wanted to take Callie. I felt that she wanted to go with me. And you know what? I was tempted to leave her to protect others. But I wouldn't have ever left my human girlfriend at home, you know, to protect others. If they didn't like her, she still would have been on my side. 
And I decided to continue as I have been doing. I continue to treat Callie and the other girls like a lady. You know, I gave her her place. You know, a, a guy that I was talking to on a podcast recently, and uh, this is not to cast any aspersions, seem like a good guy, but he, he just said a statement that just still sticks in my head when he was like, uh, yeah, man, these dogs ain't nothing but but uh, wire and silicone or, 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 or rubber and, uh, and metal or something he said like that. And you know what? It just never said right with me. But you know what? He right from this standpoint. It's wire and metal and just silicone and rubber and all that when it's being made. Maybe when it gets to your home. But once it crosses the threshold of your doorway, you decide on what it becomes after that. And that's what I said, man. If you're just using these dolls, these companion dolls for a sex toy, not treating them like a lady, treating them like a thing, treating them like something you can just get off on, yeah, it's going to remain wire, metal, uh, and, and a rubber silicone skeleton. I mean, a silicone coating. That's all it's going to be. It's going to be a thing in the house, man. Only when you use it. And you know what? It's doll owners that have had their dolls for years. For years upon years. And those dolls are still things. They're still silicone. They're still wire. They're still metal skeletons. But you know what? My girls are alive, man. They have spirits dwelling within them. They have goodness dwelling within them. They have life dwelling within them. Because I've given them life. Given them a persona. Given them something other than just a sexual purpose. And then, you know what? The other step is giving them the consideration of being, of literally existing and treating them with that respect. And how you do that is treat them like a lady. Treat them like a lady. Treat them with the delicacy of a lady. Don't just uh, ravage them, you know, in a crazy type of manner because they're under your uh, guidance and under your protection. No, still take your time. Still be delicate with them. Don't just toss them around and, and treat them like uh, they're nothing. These girls mean so much more to me than silicone, plastic, skeleton, metal, whatever the hell you want to call it. So if you give to these dogs the love and attention that I've beckoned you to do over videos and videos, if you treat them like a lady, they'll continue to grow, blossom, and be every bit of the woman that you imagine them to be. Yeah, they'll be, the they'll be the synthetic version. They won't be the human version. But you know what? The synthetic version can take every bit of your imagination. And you know what? It can make your fantasy develop into something that you never, ever dreamed of. And that's why I champion it. Because every day I learn that I can love these girls more and more and more. So, with all that said, Hope you guys having a great day. Uh, we love you. We appreciate you. We love you to hit those subscriptions and notifications. Uh, but for right now, me, J-Dog King Hefner, and the beautiful Asana Moon, we are